I got brides in Atlanta, just to the in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the band, legacy. Hey dudes, welcome back to the Galanda Vargan build. Bit of progress rumbling along in the background as you can see there on that. It's just at its first stage of uh, filler. And a quick sand, um, still quite a few more hours to pour into that yet. Yeah? Uh, quite a bit more Dremel work to do. Anyway, main focus of today's, build, uh, of today's video is for Justin Maynimer. He's also building one of these uh, G wagon bodies up. I think he got his. I think he might have got his a bit before me. I'm, I'm not so sure. Uh, he's come to a bit of an impasse. He's tried gluing his windows in with a uh, CA glue, and he's come a bit of a cropper with some uh, hazing and stuff. Now these windows are actually polycarbonate, even though the rest of the body's obviously ABS. These are polycarbonate, and if you do get any um, cyanocrylate glue on there, uh, aka super glue, especially on the smooth surface on the window pane itself, you'll get some hazing on there from the solvents in the um, glue, so I wouldn't recommend using um, super glue, cyanocrylate glue. It's too thin anyway, uh, the viscosity of the glue is too thin to form a good uh, bond really. Um, you might get lucky, but unless you slap a load on there, which is going to create issues, because you've only got this, or you can focus in there. I'm trying to show you if the camera will focus. That would be fantastic. There we go. Where my thumbnail is there, you've got a thin bead to work with, very thin bead. And if it goes up onto that lip, it's going to start hazing the polycarbonate. Obviously, you can see these are scratched up now. These are the ones that are out of the back bed. Um, which we've now obviously cut completely uh, free. Uh, right, so first of all, Justin, or anyone else who's attempting hard body windows, go and get yourself some two-part epoxy. Uh, I know Justin did comment that this was expensive where he, he lives. Uh, he's not from the UK, whereas uh, obviously I am. You can pick this stuff up in the UK for about a pound a syringe. I mean, I pay about one twenty nine a syringe. This is a slightly more expensive variant because this is all I could get today in a local area. I do live rurally, so um, if I'm going to get stuff, that's fine. So from a big city or whatever, but uh, this is what I could get locally today. This was about four pound. It's a standard two part um, epoxy, hardener in one side, uh, get a catalyst in one side, and your, and your epoxy resin in the other. Now, we all know how to use that. I won't bore you with the details of how to use that. It's super easy anyway. What you want to do, uh, Justin, is go and get yourself some sandpaper. Uh, at the moment, I'm using little bits of 80s grade um, wet and dry here. I think that might actually be 60s grade or it could even be 120 grade. There's a one on there. What you want to do is go and get yourself some 120, some 80s or whatever uh, sandpaper. Uh, nothing uh, higher than a 120 really. Go and scuff up uh, so you're keying your inside area here of where your uh, window frame is. Where your bead is going to sit. Uh, so that's obviously your bead there. And it will sit in there from the back. Like this. Go and scuff this area before you put any glue on here. Scuff up this area with sandpaper. Be very careful if you're scuffing this side because you're very near the polycarbonate and you can't really polish polycarbonate. It tends to scratch no matter what you use on there. Uh, you can give it a little buff, but um, if you put in if you put marks on this with 80s grade uh, sandpaper, the, the likelihood is it's going to be permanently marked. You can do things to uh, rectify it. You could even maybe lacquer the uh, windows with a, a bit of clear coat, but um, it's always going to be marked. So be careful of that. Um, so key your body first uh, on the inside where the lip is. Mix yourself up some two-part epoxy. You get your standard two-part epoxy. This is gelling up a little bit, I've noticed. If it gels up like that, you see that grainy texture in that? That means it's been sat on the shelf for a while, that. But it'll still work fine. It doesn't really have an expiry date. It just gives you a, a quite a, vi a viscous product to work with, as you can see. This is actually a piece of trim, this, um, that I've pulled off the G-Wagon. Now, what you will see as well, um, you see how that's quite thick? 
obviously you don't want that much on. Paint a bit on your inside lip. Put a dribble on. You can actually drag that. Right, so just for an example, we've got a little bead of epoxy in here. Pop your window in, Justin, make sure it's sat down in the recess. You'll probably hear it click. And then what you want to do, just go round, and just make sure that you are sat down properly there which you are obviously. Get a bit more of your epoxy. Obviously this is just an example, you will do this the entire way around the um, window itself. Right, so we've pasted that onto the joint. If I can just catch the light there and show you. When that sets, that sets solid that. It's caught on the inside lip of the uh, window. So I'll show you with this uh, example here. We've got epoxy on this wall here at the bottom. We've got epoxy on this flat surface here. And we've also now got this edge epoxied as well. So we've got three edges there that are epoxied onto uh, the ABS body. Now when that dries, um, you can see that I haven't put any more on here. I've only put that one bead at the bottom, which was sort of a thimble's full of, uh, half a thimble's full of, of epoxy. We'll wait to see that, how that dries and we'll come back to it and we'll see how, how, uh, how much force it takes to actually break that one seal, just to show you how strong epoxy can be uh, compared to cyanocrylate if you're using it correctly. Uh, it can be really useful. Obviously you will have more glue on there uh, and more time to, you can see it's just a quick example. Uh, and that's, I can still push my thumb into that, so it's actually still not set properly. You notice there, I can still push my thumb into it. So, obviously, uh, it's just an example, but it, if you put that all the way around your windows and do that method all the way around your windows, Justin, um, you will find that they're extremely strong and they will stay in there pretty much no matter what. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and especially Justin. Uh, go and check out Justin's channel, I'll leave a link in the description. Go and check him out, watch him build his G-Wagon up. Um, he can't be too far off finish now, so um, I'm sure he'll be running that soon on his SCX-10. Thanks for watching, everybody.